Iran's foreign ministry issues a harsh rebuke on the occasion Palestinians refer to as Nakba, the day of catastrophe. On Nakba Day, an illegitimate entity called the Zionist regime of Israel, supported by the United States, came into being by occupying the Palestinian land and continued to exist with war, crime and occupation, and has turned into the main source of all regional crises and a real threat to international peace and security. For Palestinians, May 15th is a somber day. It marks the day Israel came into being. In 1948, some 700,000 Palestinians fled their homes or were expelled. Now their descendants reside in Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Many of them are still stuck in refugee camps. But the memories of what once was linger. Sometimes people visit and they say, that's my house, it's here. And they pass that information from generation to generation. The younger generation visit and they know that they say, that's our house. Our father was born here and our mother was born there and my grandfather worked here. For many Arabs living inside Israel, Independence Day is also not a cause for celebration. They mark the day with speeches, rallies, art exhibitions and protests. They visit empty villages and they hear the stories about the villages. They hand out information about the communities, how many lived there and from which families, where the descendants are today and what they did in those days. They hear about the residents that lived there and sometimes they bring an elder to tell his story and that's it. And Arab states are also showing solidarity with the Palestinian cause as demonstrators took to the streets in Jordan. Our leaders in Jordan are under heavy pressure from the Arab countries and the world, but the public will eventually prevail. The narrative of the Nakba still lives, still exists, and you'll see that the Arab Palestinians in Israel and abroad have not given up on it, and they will keep fighting until justice is served. Emily Rose, I-24 News.